doing good. Happy to be back out uh, with my team and find, getting back into it. How so tough was the road to recovery for you, Dion? I can hear you. How tough was the road to recovery and making it back? On I mean, I guess it's I guess recovery is tough on everybody, uh, mentally, physically, and it's just taking it one day at a time, getting back into it. But I had people around me, team, keeping me encouraged, so it was all good. The coach you said you're gonna have to compete for uh, your, your spot. Uh, what's your mindset is you gotta? I mean, every year I come in and there? compete for my spot. Mm -hmm. Every year we come in and compete for our spot, so. I'm cool with like it is what it is. Did you think you'd actually be back in Atlanta? Was there a question? Yeah, I had, for you? I had no question about me being back here. I figured I was going to be back here, and I was just getting my mindset ready and my body ready to come back. So when I mean you see rumors about possibly being traded, what goes through your head? Like do you when you see those things? To be honest, didn't even see them. I don't really be on social media during the off season, but um, yeah, if I would have known something, if it was some serious, Art would have called me, my agent would have called me. So other than that, I was just locked in, get my get my body back. How did you stay on top of the defense and uh, you know making sure you know you could you know get back in there when when you know time was right for you? Uh, just staying locked in on the installs, keeping my iPad open. When they have an install, I was in there going over the same routine and just staying fresh on the plays. Dion, what did you think of Foyer's big contract they got with Jacksonville? And can you tell us a little bit more about playing with him? Uh, Foyer was an awesome teammate. Um, you know, he, he went off to Jacksonville and he got exactly what he deserved. And uh, that's just a product of his hard work and I'm proud of him. And uh, I can't wait to see what he do up there. But as I know they for sure got a great player, great teammate. And that's just the type of foyer per, uh, person Foyer is. How smart is he on the field uh, instinctually? And obviously he's got pretty darn good education. Right? Yeah, he does. Uh, he, takes, he takes that same um, that same mentality that he took to apply himself in school and apply himself on the field. And it, it pays big dividends for him. He does, it, it works for him. Just to get the timeline on this straight, when did you actually hurt your shoulder? Uh, Ben, man. It's been uh, just like a wear and tear thing. And finally just got it done, feeling healthy, and like I said, ready to get back with my team. When did you get it done? Off season. That's a long time. Eh? Well, it is a long time. I know. So are we talking early off season? Or are we early. Talking? Early off season. Like I said, just working back into the process. Was it a yeah. scope or was it a recent little clean up? A little clean up. A little clean up. Mm -hmm. How much did that affect you last year? Uh, I mean, it has its up and downs with, you know, playing injured, but, I mean, it's cool. When, Can't even use that as an excuse. I remember last year when we were talking about being injured, because it was only a week ago. When Foyer got another, you know, kind of a turn turnover that's happened, mm -hmm. are you back? How, where do you view yourself, I guess, playing this year? Is it back where uh, you were? Or to be honest, I'm right? learning all the spots at linebacker right now. Um, just being prepared, the more you can do. And wherever I fall, that's where I fall. Are you okay if they make you play or ask you to play special teams? Are you okay with that? I'm perfectly fine. Dan, what is your comfort level with this defense going into year two? Uh, I definitely have a better outlook on the defense this year. Uh, I had a chance to look back and figure out where I could help and where I could get better. And just being honest with myself and having a new outlook this season, forgetting it and pick up where I left off. What were some of the lessons that you learned going back? In uh, it was more just like working in more space on the sidelines, uh, being outside of the on the outside of the formation, just a little different feel than being in the middle. And that was basically the angles, the adjustments. And I feel like I'm pretty good with something I worked on during the offseason. And like I said, just coming back and getting back at it. How's your mindset, you know, being a former All-Pro to, you know, now you got to go to the back of the line and, and work your way back to, to, mm -hmm. to the top? I mean, I, I really feel like I've, I've been doing that every year, just working for my spot, always coming and compete. And I mean, it just feels normal, like another day at work. A similar question, but What's your mindset been like ever since you hurt your shoulder? You've been out at your back. What's that mentally been like? What's the mentally, been like? I mean, yeah. with any injury at first, it's kind of you know rough. But um, moving forward and getting healthier, I've started feeling more confident, feeling better, and eager to come back out here and play. Dion, I know the injury is a big story, but this offseason you had a pretty big event happen. You got married. Yes. Tell us about it. Oh, that was awesome. Uh, I enjoyed every bit of it, and. Um, I got a wonderful wife, and like I said, um, just constantly doing great things over the offseason and feeling better about myself and just ready to move forward into the season. Awesome. I couldn't wait to get back out here. Uh, feel the energy, uh, fly around with my teammates, hit them talking. You know, it's just the little things involved that we kind of take uh, for granted and getting back out here and just being in the atmosphere was great. Did you think you would get back before we had a camp? Like, what was I mean, I was just taking it one day at a time. Uh, I had hopes on getting back soon, and um, 
I mean, I feel like this is great time. What's it like stepping into the middle of camp with a lot of new faces, obviously, on this team? Uh, I was, while I was over on the side, I got to learn a lot of new faces. Uh, <laughs> uh, just take, like I said, as soon as I came on, on, on campus, just learning everybody one day at a time, trying to figure out where they're from, who they are. And I, it's, it's still a process. Um, still kind of like missing a couple of names, but I feel like uh, I'm on the right path to, you know, getting to learn my teammates and moving forward for this season. You got some more name tags or something? Huh? You got some more name tags? Nah, I, face, <laughs> face ID. <laughs> Did you need a few plays to feel that energy hitting somebody again out there? Oh, I couldn't wait for that play. Uh, I was kind of hoping it happened early. It happened today, happened a couple of times. Like I said, just knocking a little rust off and getting back into the groove of things and having fun with what I'm doing, doing what I do. For the first day back for you to be a joint practice, how beneficial is that that you're getting to face somebody else day one? Oh, that was fun. Um, I missed I missed the first uh, one with the Jets, and uh, I'm glad I got to get in one. This is my second year doing a joint practice. Definitely wanted to get another one under my bat. <laughs> what do you like about it? Um, just a new faces, new faces to compete with, uh, new scheme, you know, just constantly crafting and not seeing the same thing every day. Are you hoping to get some action Saturday? We'll see. Like I said, just taking it a day at a time, working and progressing. How close, I mean, how close to normal, maybe, how close to normal do you think you are? How close to where you want to be? I'm close. I'm close. Like I said, just, this is a process of just getting back into the groove. Is it just, it's fully just shaking rust off, or is there still some stuff with the shoulder that you're like? Shaking yeah. rust off. Deanna, it looks like you've added a little bit of muscle this off season. Was that by design? Uh, I think I thought I did that every off season. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I think it's just the the other arm filling out a little bit more, and me uh, <laughs> me feeling healthier, and like I said, just ready to get back to ball. <laughs> a little bit of both. <laughs> bit of both. Hey, Gino, I mean, you look at all of the guys who had big contracts on the last, with, from the last staff. Mm -hmm. A lot of them move on. A couple guys get extended. When all that's happening, kind of nothing happens with you. What goes through your head when you're seeing all those guys either move on? Or I am very excited for those guys. Like, anytime someone gets paid, another opportunity is always a plus in my book. And I feel like once once we're here and we ball together. We ball brothers for life, so I mean, I see him on the other side, wherever. I mean, it's still love. I mean, just for your for, for your own situation, when you're like everybody's kind of getting re resolution, I guess, and you're not. I thought I was getting the resolution. I don't know. Are you? Yeah, I'm great. Okay. Yeah, I'm great. So, like I said, when I see my boys doing good, I'm I'm even happier. Anything else? Dion, you did say that you know you had a lot of time to observe and, and learn names, and obviously, but what's impressed you from the outside looking in on this defense so far? Outside looking in, um. I just like the way uh, we're growing as a defense. Uh, last year, um, you know, Dean uh, added a couple new things this year, and watching them how they play out and how they work out, I'm really excited to get in there and start, you know, using these tools and, like I said, getting better with just progressing the defense, getting better. Midpoint, you know, maybe they're about to your career, but new opportunity, new chances. How are you approaching this opportunity? Maybe different from some others that you've had. Uh, I'm just enjoying it. Um, I'm a little older this time around, so. Coming home, having a chance to impact this team in a great way is just what I'm trying to take advantage of. I'm not doing too much. Coach's staff is good. They're letting us play ball, and we're just trying to do it the right way. How do you plan on impacting the Falcons pass rush this year? Obviously, everybody's kind of waiting for somebody to be able to do that. Grady has, but somebody off the edge. I mean, what's your plan of attack for, for this fall? Yeah, we're just trying to float the pocket. Uh, Coach. Or make sure that we know that's the goal every time we get out there. You want somebody to assault the pocket, coming from the edges, come from the middle. It doesn't matter where. He just wants us to be aggressive. And I plan on being aggressive, helping lead the young guys, showing them the right way to do things so that when they get their chances, they take advantage of them. I've heard Jalen Hawkins mention Dean P's, you know, say 111 a lot. Is that is that a term that they're using still this year? Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's one of 11. You just got to realize. You're one of 11 guys out there trying to get the job done, so don't do too much. Don't try to step outside your role. Just everybody do their job, and we can make it happen. What does it mean to have so many former uh, former Bears here in Atlanta, coaches and, and players? Uh, I mean, that's just the nature of the game. Um, it's good to have guys that are familiar with each other and just having a cohesive um, vocabulary, cohesive just transition. It's a little smoother, but I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> have you had many opportunities to go up against uh, Jake Matthews? And if so, you know, what are your impressions of him? Yeah, Jake's good. He's a good vet, um, smart guy, athletic, um, and 
I mean, I, I wouldn't consider him a downward fit. Like, he's still still solid. <laughs> he's still pretty good. So, I mean, I'm enjoying it. Iron sharp for iron, so we go out there, we compete whenever we get a chance. Okay. Um, what's the team mentality? I know you guys are all about being physical this year, bring that intensity. Is that something the coaching staff has harped on, you being a veteran and helping the younger guys? Oh, we're just trying to come out here and compete and just keep getting better. Um, I don't, it's a lot of noise. I mean, people don't really count on us from the outside of the building, but inside the building, we don't care. We, we come to work every day with our hard hats on, ready to get better. And I mean, we'll line it up with anybody and give them a hill. And you saw that in the first two preseason games against Detroit, went for the win, got it. Second game, played hard all the way to the end against the Jets. Is that something that you guys just try to put on, on tape every single time you hit the field? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, the older guys, we understand that that tape is permanent, and that's the one thing we're trying to get to the younger guys. Let them know that anytime you touch that field, that's your resume. It's gonna be with you for the rest of your life. That tape never goes anywhere. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. For sure. Has there been a moment so far in this training camp where you had to like maybe take someone aside, one of the younger guys, and kind of just like teach them and maybe give them something, uh, something you've learned over the years? Uh, yeah, I've tried to, man. I've tried to keep teaching the young guys, letting them know that they're. They're still fresh into the league and they don't know it all. A few of them think they think they might have the answers, but I mean, it's different once you get out here. Um, you just gotta put that time in as a rookie, understand it, and just keep growing. What's that the most common rookie mistake you've seen over the years that maybe if you wish you'd known, you would have gotten a change back? Uh, just just accepting accepting that you're a rookie and you don't know it all, because uh, it'll be smooth. You get in that pre those preseason games. In the second quarter, second half, and you're still doing good, it's like, oh, it's just like college, but you don't realize that second half, those are guys coming from college just like you. So it's a little different once that week one hits and you're playing against all pros. So I'm just letting them know that it's a, it's a constant process of working your craft and getting better every day. Hey, bro, how you doing? What's going on? Right, not too much. Hey, um, how's everything coming together from the for defense? First game, and then you came out and handled Mike White. Mm -hmm. Where y'all at? The season around the corner here. I think we're good. I think we're just continuing to grow, continuing to get better as a defense. Um, we got guys that can destroy the middle of the pocket and guys coming off the edge like myself and Ade, um, and then our linebackers. So we're just all trying to keep getting better, keep putting our best foot forward and working hard. The week one's coming, but I think we'll be ready for it. practice actually when they were coming in and and he already knew about me you know from the, 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 the players that were there they knew I could play ball and stuff like that so they've been just trying to get me to come out and come out you know me I was so stuck up on you know I'm a basketball player and he just constantly every day I go to gym class because he was my gym teacher my weight training teacher and he just constantly just, just telling me like hey it's gonna be hard to get in the NBA it's gonna be hard to get in the NBA you got a great chance you know go to the NFL before the NBA and you know he just I kind of just bought in and just realized you know you know I'm gonna give it a try and I, I went out there you know and everything went my way, so it was pretty cool. All right, so that was one of the things he said with Devin about scholarships. Any guess the other thing that he mentioned that he remembered that stuck out when he was watching you? Uh, no, uh, you can tell me. He said you were a prolific trash talker. You were oh, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. I'm just, I'm very competitive, so it's like I, just, I talk trash a lot, whether it's basketball, pickup game, anything, football, and you know, that's, that's uh, the type type of team we had at Spa, and everyone talked trash, and they try to back it up when they come, when they time to back it up. So do you think, I mean, that was your, uh, he said it was your junior year, mm -hmm. right? And yes. only play your senior year. Do you think if he wouldn't have pulled you aside and said, hey, man, like, this could be a shot at the NFL, do you think he would have basically been, been standing where you're standing right now? You know what's crazy, man? I think, no, nah, probably not. I probably would have still been like, man, I'm going to keep on trying to play basketball and, you know, hopefully just get a basketball scholarship. And I'm kind of blessed and thankful, you know, everything happens for a reason. And then I guess God put him in that position, you know, to, to talk to me and just get into my head that, hey, you need to be on that football field. So yeah, shout out to uh, Coach Dave. So. <laughs> Um, yeah. And just, you know, what, what's it been like continuing to make, obviously, you know, the pick in the first game, mm -hmm. we're, we're seeing you everywhere in the second one. What was the phone look like after the game? What's the attention been like? And how are you kind of keeping an even even keel? I mean, my phone been going crazy, you know. I've been getting a lot of love, a lot of support, you know. Got a great fan base, a lot of people reaching out to me. You know, obviously, I'm not able to, you know, to reach out back to everyone, but I do appreciate the support. And I, get, I know they understand that I got to stay focused and stay locked in and just continue to get better and, and make the plays that come my way. I remember I talked to you after the open practice at the Benz. Now you're going to get a chance to play your first game in that building. What's that going to be like? Oh, it's going to be amazing, man. You know, it's crazy. I might shed a few tears, man. Just tears of joy, you know. And it's just, it's just a blessing just, you know, to put on this uniform, this red, white, and black, and, you know, represent the whole Falcon organization, man. It's a blessing.